Hi everyone and welcome again to the studio. I am excited. I just bought some Extreme Sheen products from Deco Art and I have Deep Sapphire, Berry, Emerald, and Coral and they came in a four pack. So I'm going to try a dirty pour with just these colors and we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. All right, so I've mixed up all of my Extreme Sheen, Deco Art products, Coral, Emerald, Deep Sapphire, Berry, and then I'm also going to use a touch, just a touch, of Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring in Silver. So that should be excellent. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my canvas do you see I've chosen this oblong one, which is, I believe it's a 10 by 20. And I'm going to do this in white. Cover the whole canvas, including the sides. I like to have extra paint because I'm going to do a blow over. I'm not sure if there's a technical term for that, but let's call it that today. Using my putty knife, rescuing some paint just went over the side. And I'll, I'll speed this up a little bit so you don't have to be bored and watch me spread the paint. So this is a torch for those of you who are just watching and maybe new to this. The reason that I'm heating the paint in spots with a torch is to bring the air bubbles up. Now if you have a paint that has metallic or silicone in it, you might also use a torch to bring up what's called cells. So that will heat the oils or heat the metals and bring those to the surface of your paint. All right, so this is called a dirty pour. And I'm just gonna do as little zigzaggy across the canvas here. And I think I might go all the way up to the edge. We'll see. These can be on top, they can be beside. Some people just want to make sure they're all in one spot. That's why it's called a dirty pork. Now this one, do you see how it settled with some bubbles in it? I'm going to try to break up some of those before I put that in my picture. Break up a little bit of them. And they'll still come up. Okay, I'm going to put my lighter color on this side. A little bit more right there. Oops, dripped. That'll be okay. And then my silver, just kind of zigzaggy on the top of some of this, just here and there. I don't want to ruin the whole thing with silver. Now, when I do this kind of technique where I'm using a blow dryer, I'm going to put some extra use some extra from my thinner mix here. I'll put some extra on this side. As you can see I'm actually using a mayonnaise jar. <laughs> Squirts nicely. You always have to watch you don't put the lid down in your painting. Let's 
It's not as easily controlled also than another squirt bottle. As you know from putting your hot dogs together sometimes. All right, so the, all this extra white is gonna get blown over top of these colors. And then we're going to push the colors out. So I have a blow dryer that I have attached a funnel to with duct tape. Just easy, simple, anybody could do this at home. So I'm gonna start in this top corner where I had that little glob of white and start right there. Something to learn the more you spread it the more it will mix I love that look some people just don't like it but I love it you see some cells popping up through this painting is done with metallic so it does have some cells if you remember earlier in the video I talked about how if you heat it that some cells will come up through I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera and bring it in closer so you can see where those cells are popping up through. You'll be excited. All right, thank you for watching. Now this is a little closer look at the wet painting. Now it's still wet, but as I promised, I would bring you in closer so you can see where some of the cells are popping up. Isn't that beautiful? See that right in there? Let's move down this way a little bit. See some lovely cells and mixtures of paints on this side too. Well, thank you so much for watching and enjoy trying this painting.